Hey you guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are testing out a really crazy product from e.l.f. Uh, they keep bringing out pretty interesting stuff and this is something that really caught my eye. This is the e.l.f. Line and Define Eye Tape. So this has to remove from paper, apply to skin, reposition and apply makeup and basically it's tape. I mean, it's tape that says e.l.f. on it. I don't know that we really need this. Like I am not afraid of using scotch tape. You kind of pat off some of the stickiness on the back of your hand, put it on at an angle and there you go. It's like a very inexpensive way to do that method. But I still wanted to try these out. I don't know, there's something about it that made me really, really curious. And you get 40 strips in here. This is two bucks right here. So it's not gonna break the bank, but uh, I don't, who knows if this is really necessary, you know what I'm saying? I do also have a bunch of new e.l.f. eyelining products. So we have the Waterproof Metallic Liner in Amethyst. I have the Waterproof Metallic Liner in Blue Moon. I also have the Waterproof Metallic Liner in Bronze Age. This looks really pretty. I have the Intense Ink Eyeliner Blackest Black. This looks really big, huh? Yo, ooh, no, that is bleeding right away. I have two cream eyeliners and this is, I think what I wanna use to try out the tape, like first off with no makeup on my face. This right here is the cream eyeliner in Punk Purple. We also have the cream eyeliner in Teal Tees. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm. I sometimes like taking cream liners and using them as an eyeshadow base. I used to do that all of the time with Physicians Formula specifically. So I always kind of check out the texture on creamy eyeliners. This purple looks really pretty too. That is what we are going to use. So the teal one does not carry as much intensity as the purple. And I think I wanna start out with that. I do also have a brush in front of me that is flat tip and I love that. That actually makes such a nice difference when you go to set your eyeliner or if there's any edge that is a little bit out of order, there's some bleeding or things that you kinda of wanna smooth out. A brush that is just flat at the top like this and skinny is so nice to have. It really just mends that situation. I love a good flat tip eyelining brush. Of course, I like an angle brush too, but this is really great to kind of get in there on the lid. So we're going to check this out. That doesn't seem half bad, actually. All right. So I think the first thing I need to do is just hook my eyes up with a little of e.l.f tape. Can I just complain about my eye shape for a moment, you guys? I am entering the area of... Oh. HQ is live. Oh my God, it's $300,000 prize. I really wanna play right now. I'm gonna play it while doing this. I, I like have to. It's not quite live yet, so I'm just gonna do this until it is. <laughs> do any of you guys play HQ? It is like this little trivia game that you can win money by getting all 12 answers right. I feel like I sound like a sponsored video. This is not sponsored. It's just a weird thing that my mom told me about and then James started playing and then by default, I started playing and I resisted at first and then now, I am the craziest fan of it. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, it's HQ time, it's HQ time. And in walks James. All right, let the, to be continued, I'm gonna play my game and I will be right back with liner tape. I feel like maybe, should I like do my liner so while we're playing? For, for hosting. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna just try a few. Okay. Welcome to HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. Perfect. See, it's a lot less rigorous than wrestling gators, all right? Yes. Now you have to introduce yourself. I'm your host uh, with the most uh, bicep reps. Yes. Uh, A.K.A. Strong John Silver. Perfect. Okay, A.K.A. Muscle Westbrook. A.K.A. Hey. <laughs> AKA Dinge, the Trailblazer. Eyebrow raising, jabroni beating, pie eating, people's champion Dwayne The Rock Johnson. How was that? Good. Well, this liner sucks. Right, now we gotta do is announce how much in dollars right holy now. Holy for a whole is 300k? Hey. You don't need to do that kind of money? You, you like that? I like the shape. 30,000 times, dude. You know, you can buy yourself. It's pretty good. 93,338 are legging this one out. They got legs. Well, this sounds painful, but gorillas actually walk on their knuckles. Let's get QA. QA. Which of these scientists is credited as the first to give her subjects names instead of numbers? Oh, F me. Jane Goodall. Really? You think? You think? I think so, yeah. And there could be money in HQ if you answered Jane Goodall. Woo! Jane. 
sweet, sweet Jane is your answer oh. here at Q8. She's still alive, by the way. 84, 84. Q10. Give right, it here we go. Measured by magnitude, the largest, the largest recorded earthquake in U.S. history. In San Francisco. Hey, Anchorage. Anchorage, Anchorage, Alaska. You're sure? Nope. I'm not. <laughs> I just, Why would you do that to me? I thought it was San Francisco. I just believe it is. Earthquake, birds, and snakes, and aeroplanes, right? Well, in 1964, doing a 9.2 magnitude earthquake ripped through this city. It remains the biggest in North American history. San Francisco. And all went down no. in Anchorage. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> A few moments later. I lost. I lost at HQ. One of these days I will win. Uh, anyway, okay, back to focusing on the liner. So I do not like this gel liner whatsoever. I do not recommend it. If you are looking for a gel liner that is excellent, go with Maybelline or go with L'Oreal. You're gonna pay, you know, a few bucks more, but this is just like, I could not get any pigment on the brush to really do a straight line at all. And this one is more pigmented than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that they are both a pass. Now what I wanna do on the other eye right now is actually play with one of the waterproof pencils because you can still get a nice winged effect if you use the tape method and kind of pull the color all the way out. You don't have to do this with you know, a gel and a brush or with a inky marker. You can use a pencil. So we're gonna do that on the other side and see what happens. I actually, I kind of like these. They do not pull off your skin when you take it off. And the thing with tape is after like one like moment of moving it around, it loses its stick and it like won't adjust. So it can be super annoying. This like, because of its thin shape too, it like adjusts really well. I actually really like it. I dig it, I'm into it. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh my. That is so good. That is so good. I actually even really like this eyeliner, you guys. This is gorgeous. It has little flecks of lighter metallic blue that really catch the light. Let's take a look at the other colors because that is really creamy, really smooth, really pigmented, and it's not straight metallic. It's like it's a cream base with a little glitter in it, micro glitter. Ooh, yes, I really like these. All right, so I'm gonna be testing out this guy right here. This is the Fairy Tale book number three. This is by Rude Cosmetics. I have mentioned this briefly and I have not tried all the palettes, so I wanna give this one a go right now. I am first going to dip in to this guy right here pretty liberally. And we're gonna be messy about it and see what happens. That is the nice thing about using the tape method is you can go kind of far on that outer edge and once you pull the tape away, it's gonna be nice and clean. So I'm gonna be able to really, really get a lot of color on that outer edge. Okay, so now I'm gonna take an Anastasia A12 brush and I'm gonna go into to this shade. I'm gonna go a little lower. All right, this shadow sucks, dude. It's like giving me a bald patch right here. Are you joking me? I really love this one though. So let's go in here because these are just like so beautifully pigmented. I'm gonna go into Escape right here. This is the BH Cosmetics Festival palette. And let's see if that can fix the situation a little. I'm gonna take the shade Boho all over the lid. And I'm gonna take the shade Spirit on the inner corner. Ooh, this one really shows up when you use a little bit of Fix Plus. Now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Waterproof Metallic Liner in the shade Amethyst, and we are just gonna go in. It's the moment of truth, you guys. I am very curious to see how this turns out. So in three, two, one. Oh. Oh my God. 
this tape is pretty, pretty awesome. I know it seems ridiculous to pay even $2 for tape when you probably already have tape. And yes, you could use your own scotch tape, but there is something different about the texture of this and how you can place it on the eye and it doesn't crinkle up the way that scotch tape can. So I'm really into this. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup because she looks a little crazy right now and I will be right back. The rest of my makeup is on and you guys, I didn't even put lashes on today because I just didn't even feel like, I don't know, I just didn't even feel like I needed it. I felt like my eye was so sharp and just clean and good that I wanted to just kind of leave it as is. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I have put on lashes? Should I have not? Do you like this kind of a look even though it's a little more dramatic without lashes or with? Like, can you do it without? Let me know in the comments what you think. I love these, like die hard, love these. I kind of at first was like, well, this is kind of strange for Elf to bring this out, two bucks. It's still two bucks. Like, why not just, you know, just use some tape at home? But this did give me a better result than Scotch tape does, a better result than uh, Beauty Blender has these like plastic things that you can put on. I tried some silicone ones from Woosh Beauty. I have tried many different things that are supposed to give you that precise line like this. And this ultimately is what worked the best. So I love these. I think it's worth $2 for sure. Now, out of everything else that I tried, I don't really die hard love any of it. Yes, the metallic liners are pretty good. The colors are beautiful, but I did already notice that they kind of crumble off a little bit where if you go to reline or touch up an area, it's gonna be a bit crumbly and weird, which I don't like. It's just the way that certain liners dry down sometimes. So not the biggest fan of that. I think for a liner that comes in a pencil form, my absolute fave is still the Stila Kajal pencil. I have it right here. This is like, let's take a peek at my like front runners right here. So I have my Smashbox and then Stila for the waterline. And then right now for mascara, I'm loving Catrice. So I'm a little all over the place. Then I have some like lash glue and brow stuff, but that's just like the go-to. Um, so, you know, at least I found one thing that is going to be front and center kept on my vanity that I will reach for again and again. And I think it really works. It really like, it just worked. It let me get the shadow just like this perfectly as well and didn't get under the tape at all and it didn't rip my skin off. So it's just like benefit, 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 benefit. Two bucks, I'm in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you enjoyed it. And I do hope you're having a good one. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.